Hello, this is Dr. Christy Patton Lukes, chemical engineering professor at Missouri S&T. This video lesson is going to be just a really quick introduction to MATLAB and really just using it as a calculator. So if you've used MATLAB at all, there's probably going to be no information for you here. So I want you to first on your own computer, try opening up MATLAB, and your screen may look a little different than this, but essentially you'll have some things of folders that we'll get to when we start writing our files. Uh, there's a command window, which is where we're going to primarily be working, and then there's a workspace over here that I'll be mentioning in just a moment. But again, we want to just use it as a calculator. So it does most stuff that you would expect it to do. So if I wanted to say 3 plus 5, and I hit return, and it gives me the answer is 8. Now notice over here in the workspace, it's created a variable ANS, which is its variable default name for the answer, and it's put in there the value 8. And I could subtract uh, 23 minus 12, uh, I can multiply 3 times 4. I can, of course, do this with decimals or scientific notation. 3.5e negative 3 times 1,000. Okay, and it comes up with the correct answer. I can divide. I can do exponents. 2, it uses the caret sign. 2 caret 3 is 8. Okay, does order of expon uh, order of uh, operations traditionally pr parenthesis first, then multiply or exponents next, then multiply and divide going left to right, and then adding and subtracting going left to right. So your traditional algebra rules should work here just fine. Um, oh, if you wanted to use symbols like if you needed the number pi, uh, pi divided by 3, just type in the word pi and it knows that. If you wanted the exponential of, uh, I don't know, negative 3.5, it can do exponential, sines, cosines, all the traditional functions. If you're ever looking Notice over here, first of all, that it's going to change your answers over here. If you're not sure about a function that you think it might be something, you can go into help or you can just try it and it'll give you an error. So, um, I don't know, arctangent of 1, let's see if, yeah, see, it, that wasn't the right function. So that's the worst that's going to happen if you try typing something in as a wild guess. It just tells you that that was undefined, okay? Uh, if you do something like, a, I don't know, dividing by zero, something like that, it will give you a not a number, N-A-N, as the response. It's fairly user-friendly. If you want to, you can do something like A equals 3 plus 4, and it tells you A equals 7. Now, notice over here I have a new variable that showed up. And B equals, I don't know, 14 divided by 2. And so now then it says I've got a variable A, I've got a variable B. I could say A minus B. So I can introduce variables and do math that way also. So I think that's enough for this little mini lesson. But again, we can use MATLAB as a calculator. If that's all you're doing with it, probably you are hitting, you know, this little teeny tiny thumbtack with a mallet, but we can use it as a calculator. And doing this and just kind of getting used to that is probably a good starting point as we move into further lessons using MATLAB as a computation tool. Thank you very much for your time.